Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Danny and you're watching Crafty D Sculpting. And today's video, we are going to be doing another Nightmare Before Christmas character. We've done Jack last week, but this week we're doing Sally. So yeah, let's sit back, let's enjoy, and let's see how we get on. Again, before we do, be great if you could hit that sub button for us helps us out with the algorithm all the likes in the world will help out and get me up there a little bit so cheers for that guys now anyway let's get on with the bike all right as with all the models i'm going to start with a wire armature and for this i'm using a 2.5 aluminium two foot and for this i'm using a 2.5 millimeter aluminium wire i'm going to stick it into the drill like that after folding it in half and what we're going to do is get a paintbrush and put it in the far end into the looped end and then we're going to start drilling it's going to wind it up it's going to thicken it up and it's also going to give the clay something to adhere to rather than having a smooth piece of aluminium metal like you see that i'm using it to line up against here to just get the shape I'll fold that in half shape we're just going to try and work it into the correct shape that we need before putting it into our block then we're going to get some floral wire and just wrap it around the body keep that all nice and secure moving on to the arms just going to do that the same way with the floral wire just wrap it around get that all the way around nice and secure nice and tight that's not going to go anywhere. Lovely stuff, right onto the head and neck area. Another bit of that same wire that we've got, we're just going to lock it into the bottom there and then secure it around the shoulders. Lock it all into place nice and tight. There we go. Finito. Now, for this, I'm using Super Sculpey Original just to bulk out the body a little bit. And then we're going to be moving on to Cosclay Soft for the actual main sculpt. I'm just literally working it in, just trying to get the rough skeletal shape, if, if you like. Getting a little bit of the hip area on just to build up the hips. And then we're going to just whack that in the oven like that. Right, after she's been baked, we're going to get some liquid clay. And we're just going to paint that all over the body. Make sure that the cosplay that we put on gets a nice idea to it when it goes into the oven later. And there we go. We're just going to get the first sheet over that I've put in my pasta maker. We're just going to cut it into the rough shape that we want. Make it a little bit easier to mould. Made a bit of a hash at the back, but we get that repaired. You don't really see the back because she's going to have a long hair coming down anyway, which I forget later and put all the detail into the back. First time I've done a woman's figure, so just trying to sculpt out the, the breast area. Trying to make it obviously not too big, but she's going to have clothes going over it, so just a subtle look before we move on to the legs. I'm going to cut them down the centre, just so it's easier to get around the actual aluminium wire. Then I'm going to smooth them around. going to add some little bits of clay to her calf area, build them out. Adding on extra bits to the back of her legs. And there we go, we've done the other leg off the camera. Right, now we're going to move on to her skirt and we're just going to make a load of little cuts into this. I actually do this again after I've done this off, off camera and actually make them a little bit bigger and better as you can see there as we're putting it on now you can see I've actually scored it a bit better. Right we're just going to put that on and mould it all in around the back of her before moulding it into the body to make it look like a single dress. We're going to get another slab of clay that we've put through the um, pasta machine and we're going to make the top of her dress now. Just going to cut them into shape, get the rough shape and then just smooth them into the arm areas 
to make it again look like part of the actual dress. Now we're just gonna get a couple of little tools and make some nicks in the actual dress to make it look like it's been damaged slightly. And then we're gonna do the same to the sleeves before attaching them on. So it took me a couple of attempts there to get that right, but we eventually got there before smoothing that all in. Starting to take shape now. Do the other arm off the camera again. Going to move on to the neck. I'm just putting a small sliver of clay on there, just smoothing it all in for the moment. We can come back to that later on, but I just wanted to get it in there so I can get a rough idea for where the head's going to be. Before moving on to the feet, just going to cut some small balls of clay down, smish them around the ankles, and then sort of just work in the shape by finger. So we'll come on to a few different tools. My favourite little spoon tool. Start working in the shape. Now, in theory, maybe I should have left them with that amount of clay on, but I ended up cutting a load off. Regretted it in the end because her feet looked a bit too small. But we live and we learn. Just knocking in the actual areas of where the hill goes. I don't know the names of all the tools, so leave a comment below. Let me know what they are as they come up, um, if you know what they are. So I finished off her shoes and now we're going to get her socks on. Just going to cut them in place before getting another tool and then just working in the areas of where the wrinkles are. There we go, both feet are done. Right now, we're going to get, I believe this is called an explorer tool and we're going to start marking out all of our scars just smoothing off the edges as we go just trying to gently and slowly work out where every scar goes i'm still learning on on the perspective of looking at stuff and trying to actually copy it exactly as you can see i'm not very good at that at the moment but i am still learning i'm getting there it's the reason for the YouTube channel. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep this going. We're trying to actually improve ourselves while you can actually get to see how I'm doing it. And I hope it encourages other people to, to actually have a go themselves and show people their progress. And so we're finishing off all the scarring. We've got it all on our legs now. And then we've got the monogamous task put on all the stitches. In hindsight, maybe I should have scored them out, but we decided to cut each one and manually put every single stitch on, which took forever. And I even done the ones on our back. For, don't know why I did it, because we're gonna get covered and you're not gonna see them. Hey -oh. Excuse how I'm sounding. I have been suffering with a cold this week. I am a little bit bunged up at the moment. But we are on to the dreaded hands. Still my worst part of making any sculpture. I still absolutely hate making hands and we had a couple of attempts before I was actually happy. So we get all them in, then we put in our forearms, make sure we've got plenty of clay on there, build it all up, and then we have to rescore our arms again and make all the scarring. Just getting him smoothed off. Here we go, getting the scarring in again. And then we have to put a few more stitches in. Right, now that's done. We're gonna get some isopropanol alcohol. We're just going to brush it all over and try and remove as many fingerprints and other little tiny marks that might be on there before moving on to the head while she's in the oven. Now we're going to get some aluminium foil for the head. 
going to turn it into a small ball just to take up the majority of the bulk so I'm not using too much clay. I'm going to drill a small hole in the top of it before putting a stick in the top so I've got something to grip onto, hold onto while we're trying to form her head. So we're going to get some more liquid clay, just put that over before we get another small sheet of clay which I've just pulled off of a ball as you can see there mushed around and on it goes just going to squish that around till we get the basic shape and there's the rough shape of her head just going to mark out where the features of her face go just roughly again I'm no master at this I'm self-taught with everything Luckily watching people like Aces of Clay and Clay Claim have been a massive inspiration to me. Watching them week in, week out for the past few few months. And yeah, they've got some great videos if you haven't seen them before. So go and check them out, guys. Right, we've just mashed out the eyes and we're going to put these small little balls of clay in. Flatten them down to make the eyes before rolling out some more slivers of clay and putting them around to try and form the eyelids. Again, not really good at faces, but again, we've got to persevere and we've got to do them. So no point hiding away. Just get on and do it. That's the best way. That's the only way we're going to learn. And I'm not overly happy with the way the face turned out, but as you can see, I carried on until I was happy-ish. was no for the board, I would say. Good enough. And yeah, just trying to figure it out, just trying to use different tools, just trying to get that general shape. And as you can see, I'm stuttering about there and trying to figure out what I'm going to use next before opening up her mouth and putting on a rather big bit of clay for her lips, which again, I regret later on. Once stepping away, after she was baked and looking at her and going, why did I do that? But there we go, there's the head done. Time to get some hair done in a moment, but for now we're just gonna mark out the rest of our scars on her face. And add in a few more stitches. Still working from home in a living room, got dogs running around, so excuse if you hear the odd noise of a of a buckle rustling as they're walking around the home. Now the scarring's all done, we can move on to her hair. We've just cut the general shape out and squashed down the sides so they're not so square. And we're gonna cut the middle of the top part of it so it's easier to sort of bend into each other. We've scored out the bottom again like we have with everything else on our clothing just to give it sort of like that rough look and then we're going to get a tool, sharp tool here and just score down very gently to give the idea of a hair look. Now we're going to just try and attach that to her head. Her head is still wet, I haven't pre-baked the head before putting on the hair so I should get away with not putting any liquid clay on. If it was baked I would definitely put liquid clay on first. There yeah, we're just refining that, getting all that swooshed in. Before we get some more floral wire to do her eyebrows. Eyelashes should I say. <laughs> So what we've done is we've just cut a small bit down and then we've just got a pair of pliers and just folded it in half and just squashed one end down to make it almost like a V shape before we can just push them in to the top of her eye to give her her eyelashes. And we'll do that about four times on each side. And then just make sure it's all pushed in, no extra big holes 
and then we're going to go back over with some isopropanol alcohol before she goes in the oven. Right, now she's baked, we're going to paint her. Now we've used, as you can see there, I've used marine blue and white, and as you can see I've had a couple of attempts to try and get the colour right there, and yeah, I, I think it was still a bit too blue. But we persevered, we got it on once it dried. I wasn't 100% happy with the colour, but I'm colour blind. So trying to get the colours perfectly right is quite a mission for me. I usually have to get someone to come and give me a hand picking the colours. Usually my daughter, who's standing behind me going, nope, that's the wrong colour, Dad. Now we're just moving on to some of the details on her face. Extra fine paintbrush we got there. Trying to get all the uh, eyelashes in. And just trying to darken up behind the actual eyes themselves. Getting all her scarring around the mouth. And then we're just get going in with some it's almost like a black wash, just trying to get everything just a little bit darker in the actual scarring. Later on, we do go over all the stitches with a black. Before moving on to the eyes now, it did take a couple of coats. And in theory, I should have perhaps again done the white first. It would have helped. Painting her dress, down in a variety of different browns. Again, not 100% true to the film, maybe the actual colours, but again, the colour blindness doesn't help. And I've pretty much done this one on my own with the uh, colour palettes and choosing the colours. So I guess that's the hell I go on. Did I mess up too much? Or do you think the colours were pretty good? Yes, I know I got some of the stitching wrong in her dress. And I didn't add in the actual patch. I was going to add it in, but it looked like I didn't have enough room there. So I left the patch out on the bottom of her dress. Just finishing off all the paint and getting every area covered on the dress before we move on to any more. Getting the hair done. I used a ready brown mix for this. Right, coming on to her eyes, I've got a ball stylus, one of the smaller ones that I've got. Dipped it in black paint and then just carefully try not to make them all cross-eyed. It's very, very easy to do during doing this. But just very carefully plop, plop in a little dot on. Let's do that one twice now. But there we go. Messed up first of all and used too big a paintbrush or should I say ball spite stylus and ended up with a really big black dot, so I had to redo that. And there we go, moving on to the stitches, getting all them done. Again, took quite a while just to go around and getting them all done. But trying to do all the line work, I treated myself to some acrylic pens, paint pens. So let's give these a go to see how we get on with these. Again, not perfect with my line work. I haven't got the steadiest of hands. But I think I did okay. I think I got away with it. And Sally's finished. Quite happy with the way she's turned out. A couple of little features wasn't 100% happy with, mainly the face 
and the feet were a little bit too small in my eyes i should have made them a tad bigger um yeah the lips also a little bit but all in all i'm kind of happy with the way she turned out let me know how, how you think i got it in the comments below i'd love to hear any feedback it all helps me and i also like to hear what you want to see me make you might see jack in the background there we're going to put them two on a base so that's going to be the next video Going to show you how i make the base up and then we're going to just put these two on and show you what the finished concept looks like of all three so yeah thanks for tuning in guys and i hopefully get to see you on the next one sorry i sound a little bit stuffy at the moment i've had a cold this week but yeah i'll be all better in the next one and we'll have something else for you so let us know in the comments below what you want to see and uh yeah i'll see if i can make it happen for now guys take care i'll see you in the next one